Hi, my name is Sonia Hennessy and I am the author of Drumroll Please, it's Stevie Louise. Not the illustrator, the illustrator's name is Lee Hedstrom and I'm obsessed with her. She did these amazing illustrations. Um, the book is out May 4th. But look, I thought I would... <laughs> the story is about Stevie Louise's journey, ooh, ooh, uh, and her brilliant business decision. So Stevie comes up with his business decision and she ropes all of her friends into doing it who live on the same street as her. So this book is kind of like Hating Alice and Ashley meets The Babysitter's Club. If you don't know what those are, you might have to ask your parents because it's a bit old school, but it's very new school because it was written this year. So let me go through some of the characters in this book. Okay, let's start with Stevie Louise. Her real name is Stevie Louise Mason. She's 12 years old, but everyone calls her Steven or Steve, which I don't think she hates. In fact, I think she kind of likes it. Stevie never ever wears matching socks. She always wears gold boots because that's where her confidence comes from. And she is always the funniest at the party. She's overly dramatic. She rolls her eyes far too often. She might have to see an optometrist the amount of times she has rolled her eyes. She's got a lot of attitude. She's very fierce but she's also a different person around people that she knows than strangers. Okay, next we have Trixie, but her full name is Beatrix, but she goes by Trixie. She's 12 years old as well. She's a really good writer. She tells really, really scary ghost stories at the sleepover party. No one can sleep if Trixie tells a ghost story. And I think people have peed themselves laughing at Trixie's stories as well. She plays tennis and she plays basketball. She'll probably play in the Paralympic Games one day. And she's always early. You will never catch Trixie be late ever. So then we have got the twins. So the twins are Macy and Luke. Let's start with Macy. Macy is spacey. She's always off with the fairies. She always loses her lunchbox. She's meant to wear glasses every day. She loses them three or four times a day. They've already been replaced 30 times. Macy is uh, really smart, but book smart, not street smart. Does that make sense? She's really good at maths and you wouldn't think that she's very good at maths. She doesn't like gaming and she doesn't like TikTok, mainly because she can't dance. Okay, let's move to the other twin, which is Luke. He loves his own company. He could be by himself all day, every day. He doesn't mind. He never washes his hair, never brushes his hair. He loves the internet, he wants to go viral, he loves gaming, he has a lot of female friends, and he hates mess. Hates mess. Which is hard, because his sister is Macy, who is just a walking mess. Okay, this is one of my favorite characters. Alex knows all the words to every musical under the sun. He has purple nail polish, he's funny, he's silly, he's over the top, he's really, really close to Stevie. He is moody. If you don't pay him attention, he gets cranky. Oh, and he loves barbecue shapes. Legend. And finally, in the Brook Street crew, the last one is Hannah. Now, Hannah's the youngest. She's only nine. She's Stevie's sister. So Hannah's really into fashion. She knows how to sew. She wants to go to Paris yesterday. She has so many hair clips, so many necklaces. She changes her nail polish color every day. She's got heaps of rings. And she's cool. She's really cool. So they are all the characters that live in Stevie Louise's world. Well, there is one more character, but you'll only find out about her when you read the book. So it's out May 4th in all good bookstores and also terrible bookstores. So hopefully you guys love Stevie Louise as much as I do. And I would love to know which character sounds the most like you. Comment below and tell me which character reminds you of you or maybe a friend of yours. I would love to know. Until the 4th of May, I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye!